Hey, this is EVUs and I have Nas joining me. Hey guys. And in this video, this is a mega mini portable speaker showdown video. Right, we have seven speakers here which are similarly sized as yep. well as similarly priced as well. So we thought this would be a great chance for us to make a comparison video. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna take a thorough look at each and every one of the speakers. And at the end, we're gonna go full on test between all of these comparing them. So you can see which one sounds better. Now let's get into it. All right, so starting off with this Angry Birds mini speaker right here. I'm gonna open it up. And this speaker retails for about 20 pounds and you can get it from Amazon or play.com. They're quite, they're quite common. And um, it features eight hours battery life. It has the little popping out speaker. So you can have more bass as well if you wanna pop it out. And if you wanna close it again, it'll be nice and compact. And uh, you can have different shapes and different um, characters. So you got a black one, you got a red one. I think you got a yellow one as well. Yeah, there's all kinds of Angry Birds characters. Obviously right here we got the black one. Taking out of the box right here, we got the speaker in itself. There we are. The first thing I noticed, it has these rubber touches to it, which adds nice quality to it. Uh, we have the volume sliding Slide, thingy, yeah, whatever you sliding, call it. Yeah. And then we have the US mini USB charging port. And we have <laughs> 3.5mm headphone jack as well as the, the mini USB cable right there. Very short, very thin. And we have AUX in. So that means you can daisy chain more than one, which is, I think is really good. And we have the on off switch right here. And you turn yep. it on. And oh, yeah, nice little blue light. Blue light. <laughs> like and what I was talking about, you can get more bass if you open it up like that. And his face goes a little bit wonky. Yeah, yeah well, I thought that was a bit strange. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit but retarded. Actually, yeah, yeah. Oh, you could straighten it. There you are. You could straighten it, but still, it definitely adds to the sound. Like, you said, like we said, stay tuned to the end to hear a full sound test of each. All right, so all in all, this Angry Birds mini speaker is great, actually. It sounds really good. Uh, the speaker has quite a bit of volume. The expanding feature does add that bass. So overall, the sound is pretty good. One thing I have a problem with this is the actual build quality. The plastic they've used is quite thin, and mm. I don't know how strong it would be. All right, so moving on. And next we have the Gadget Shop Mini Portable Speaker, which is very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very generic speaker, actually. It's not exclusive to Gadget Shop or anything. You can pick a speaker up like this from eBay for a few quid. I'll put a link in the description uh, to find a speaker similar to this. And what we have is the popping up feature as well, which gives you more bass. And um, bass. <laughs> we have on a switch, which has two settings. So we have low and high sound. And then we have a um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which you directly plug to your phone. Yeah, built that's pretty much it, yeah. Unfortunately, it's actually pretty rubbish. Yeah, it doesn't sound too great. Quite teeny, pretty loud. I must yeah, say, pretty, pretty loud. Pretty loud, but major problem with this thing is the battery life. Yeah. It doesn't hold charge at yeah, all. Barely, barely. So overall, avoid, yeah. definitely avoid. Even for the cheap price, avoid it. Right, so moving over to the X Mini Me right here, open this up. This is the smallest speaker we have in our range. And um, it's from XMI and they've made the X Minis, X Mini 2s, which are highly rated speakers. So we have hopes for this one, high hopes, don't we? Yeah, very high hopes. As you can see, extremely small. They're not lying about the size, it is mini. Well, they say thumb size, but I would say it's more toe size. Yeah, they're, they probably are lying about the size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the build quality is really nice, has a rubber feel to the edges. And um, actually on the sides as well, it's got a rubbery, rubbery feel. We have a cap at the top, on a switch here, the speaker obviously up here. And the clip and all that. We've so got a clip thing for your belt. And we have a charging port. <laughs> and this retails for £25. And I think it's not worth it. It's the, a rip-off. <laughs> it's a rip-off. For, for the actual sound, it's not that great. I mean, you can almost get two X Mini 2s. Yeah. for the price of this one. Yeah, as you can see, it's got a USB cable, two micro USB into the device to charge it, but the micro USB goes straight into the speaker and then switches to the 3.5 millimeter jack as well. So you plug this in and then plug the 3.5 millimeter jack into your phone. Bit of a fiddly thing, I'm not sure why they chose that, but... Um, uh, yeah. And say goodbye to the free case, because they no longer provide it. Just a lanyard. That's <laughs> it. Now I'm going to be unboxing the Satsuma Speaker Bomb. It's a speaker that looks like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can get this um, similar speaker off of eBay. It is one of those generic designs. You can get different ones with different emotions on it. As you can see, this one's winking at you. You can get other emotions on it as well. So yeah, it looks like a bomb, and this is what you get in the box. Yeah, you don't get much with it. You get the charging cable and the speaker itself. Now, let's get into the speaker. You have an on-off switch at the bottom, and you have a charging port. And that's pretty much it. When you turn it on, you do have a, a little blue LED. 
at the bottom, which is not the best place to put it, but at least you have one. <laughs> and for the sound quality, this thing is actually very good. Yeah, surprisingly, yeah. It's really loud, but not very bassy, but what do you expect from this size, you know? I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with the bass for the size. Quality, clarity is not the best, but definitely sounds great overall. And the build quality is very good. Yeah. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the Invader speaker, portable speaker by Kit Sound right here. So yeah, up. this speaker in, um, retails for about 15 or 20 pounds. Yeah, around that much. Which yeah. is a good price. And this has got the shape and size of um, the X Mini 2. Yeah, roughly. very, very similar. You can pop the top out and give you more bass as well. But it's got like an alien twist to it. Yeah, alien spaceship Invader twist. As you can see, it looks similar to X Mini, but with a pretty neat design on it. And obviously you can get several different colours and the colour choice is more extravagant with these kit sound speakers. And then if you twist it and it pops out like that. Yeah, just like a few of these other speakers, pops up to give you that extra bass. We've got the cable right here which is uh, got USB to mini USB to charge and the 3.5mm headphone jack. So taking a look at the speaker itself as you see, uh, it does have an on switch right here. Hold it down, gives you a white light to indicate that it's on. Nice little button design right here, I really like that. And uh, overall build quality is amazing, uh, very well built, high quality. And also the sound quality is quite good as well. Yeah, yeah definitely, it sounds really good. Uh, nice little package this one. Right, next I'm going to be unboxing the X Mini version 2, which is a highly rated mini portable speaker. Yeah, now this, you can see from these speakers right here, they've picked up the X Mini's design quite a bit with the expandable speaker design. As you can see, a lot of these speakers have picked up that design. Originally from the X Mini uh, by XMI, so as you can see right here, you get quite a few colours. This is a red one specifically, and we have the pouch as well. Yeah, nice little pouch and the cable to um, charge it with a mini USB and 3.5 mm headphone jack. And the build quality of this speaker is absolutely fantastic. It's yeah. got this rubber feel to it everywhere, and it's got this tiny little feet at the bottom as well. So attention to detail is great. Yeah. Very well built. Very. Um, sturdy and uh, works really well but the sound the sound what we're talking about yeah we've got a volume thing here which makes it really loud and the battery life up to 12 hours yeah and it Ridiculous. actually survives for ages it feels like it lasts forever so you yeah. close it up and it's really small nice and portable great speaker definitely oh, yeah. recommend it finally looking at this i want it speaker portable speaker right here this is the largest speaker we have from our selection yeah, it's pretty huge but this speaker is not rechargeable. You have to put your own standard batteries in there, which kind of sucks, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that does suck pretty bad. As you can see, you've got a nice little pouch here. But it only retails for about £10, so it's, you're not paying much. And for the size, you know, you're getting a lot for, for the money. Yeah, it's widely available in um, Curry's and PC World in the UK uh, for this I Want It brand speaker. And if you look at the design, it's very nicely designed and the build quality is very nice. It's huge though. <laughs> yeah, you got the 3.5mm headphone jack around there and if you want to put your batteries you just twist that and open it. And Three triple A's. Although the build quality is very nice, it sounds like crap. Yeah, it sucks. In fact, I don't want it. <laughs> yes, I don't know why they say I want I it want because it I don't want it either. You don't want this. So no, you don't want you this. Don't, it sucks. So uh, overall, not a great speaker. It doesn't sound too good. No. AAA batteries, no one wants to use those. <laughs> now, we're going to be doing a sound comparison with all these speakers. Right, so for the overall sound test of all of these speakers, uh, we're going to be testing one song on all of these speakers. So we're going to start from the right and then end up on the left. And so starting off obviously with the Angry Birds speaker. So the moment you've been waiting for, let's go.
so from that test let us know which one you think sounded the best to you in our opinion from the right we have the best speaker and on the left is the worst the worst one so we're going to start with this generic ebay speaker which is only got a few pounds and problem with this it sounds rubbish and the battery life is awful yeah terrible moving over to the i want it i don't want it in fact it does have batteries which sucks if i'm honest not very loud it's huge and it doesn't produce enough volume in my opinion sounds good but not enough volume next one is the x mini me very high priced actually and it yeah, doesn't sound that good that's mm. the main problem with it doesn't sound too great this one is actually in fact quite a lot better the bomb right here doesn't it's not too much bigger than the x mini sounds great um does have a nice little bit of bass in it Battery life's not the best, but, but it's only 10 quid, yeah. so you don't expect price. too much. Great speaker for the price. Now we have the Kit Sound Invader. There's nothing actually wrong with it, it's just that there's better things out there. Yeah. It's still very good though. Next, we have the Angry Birds speaker. Everyone loves Angry Birds, so it's a nice little speaker. Uh, sounds great, has good amount of bass, good clarity, good volume, and the size is not too bad and it has a nice little design on it as well. Next one, well, last one. It's the X-Mini version 2. Yeah. This speaker is fantastic. It's a beast. <laughs> brilliant build quality, brilliant sound quality, brilliant battery life, yeah. and it's very well priced. Yeah. All around great speaker, Has ticks all the boxes, and does everything well, basically, and it doesn't cost too much. Put it in the description, definitely recommend the X-Mini 2. And that's pretty much it, and that's the end of the video. Yeah, that's pretty much it of our Mini Portable Speaker Showdown. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. See you later.